right in this video here, I have a basket of 10 eggs. And I'm really proud of my artwork there. Um, don't worry, I will stick to math, not art. But uh, I have a basket of 10 eggs, all right? And don't count those eggs, because I don't know how many are in there. It doesn't matter. This is just a picture, a little visual going on. Let's say that three, I was told that three of these eggs are cracked. I wasn't told anything else. But you can assume that if three of these eggs are cracked, then seven of them are whole, all right? What I'm calling whole. Uh, you can call them uh, uncracked or whatever, all right? But I'm going to say that seven of them are whole because, you know, these two cracked and whole eggs have to add up to 10. All right, we were also told that we were going to randomly choose four out of these 10 eggs, all right? So four out of these 10 eggs are going to be chosen out of this basket. And we're going to look at different scenarios. We're going to look at, hey, what's the probability Right, that if we if we choose four eggs, what's the probability that all of the cracked eggs are selected, all three of them? Right, because we just said a second ago that three of them were cracked. Or what's the probability that none of the cracked eggs are selected? Right, we can look at that probability. Or we can look at this third scenario, and I'm going to show you that one in two. Um, what's the probability that two of the cracked eggs are selected? So we're going to look at each of these scenarios, and I'm going to give you these answers as simplified fractions, but um, for now, let's just figure out um, how many different ways are there to select four eggs out of 10. All right, and then I'm going to show you something on the calculator here in just a moment as well. But I've got this right here. Look, if, if you're going to choose four out of 10 items, all right, in this case, they're eggs. If we're going to choose four out of these 10, and the order does not matter, that's important, then what we have is what's called a combination. Right? And I read this as 10 choose 4. That's literally how I read this. 10 choose 4. Order doesn't matter. This is a combination, not a permutation. Right? It's not a permutation. Sometimes books show it this way, 10 over 4. Right, as as the 10 being the n and the 4 being the r, uh, it means the same thing as 10 choose 4. So these both are exactly the same thing. And I came up with the value of 210. And that's because, uh, here, let me just pull out my calculator. I've got my TI-84 here. Um, and I'm sorry, this is kind of fuzzy. My camera doesn't really focus in on this too well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually calculate this, this 10 choose 4 here, OK? And to do that, I first punch in a 10. There we go. Let me see that better. Here we go. Zoom in. All right, so I've got a 10 on my calculator. The next thing I need to do, I can not see that. There we go. The next thing I need to do is I need to say, all right, um, let's get the NCR button to show up. And now what I'm doing here is I'm going to choose this math button. And if you scoot over to the far right until PRB is highlighted, there we go. If you look at your third option down, it's your NCR button. Again, I apologize for the fuzziness here, but um, hopefully your calculator, you can see it a lot clearer. Um, all right, so I'm going to scoot on down to the third option, hit Enter. And it's 10 choose 4, so I need to punch in a 4 still. And you should see a value of 210. That's where I got my 210 from. All right, that's 10 choose 4 combination. All right, right there. Now, what I did is, and I'm showing this as DEN, this is really going to be, right, this 210 is going to be the denominator. That's what I started to write here, OK? It's going to be the denominator of each of these three scenarios that I'm going to walk you through, right? It's going to be the, the, the number that's going to be in the denominator of each of those three scenarios. Here, let me show you what I mean. Look at our first one here. What's the probability that all of the cracked eggs are selected? Right. What's the probability that all of them are selected? Well, just a second ago, I said, look, our denominator is going to be 210, because that's how many ways we can choose four out of 10 eggs, All right, a total of four, whatever combination you want. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do in the numerator, though, is I'm going to split it up. Right? I'm going to split it up into two separate numbers, where the first number is going to represent the cracked eggs, and the second number is going to represent the whole eggs, right? what I'm calling the whole eggs. Now, remember our scenario, at least in my particular case, three of them were cracked and seven of them were whole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the three up top for the cracked and seven up top for the whole. Okay, so I'm setting this up in a very deliberate way here. Now, for this particular scenario, all of the cracked eggs are selected. You see that all of them are selected. Well, I only have three, so I'm selecting all three. This is three choose three. Right, this is 3 choose 3. Um, this is equivalent to saying 3 
NCR3 on your calculator. Okay, that's what this is. It's the same thing. Um, okay, well, here's the other thing, too. And what, what number goes down here? Well, if three out of the four eggs are cracked, how many of the whole eggs were chosen? Well, again, I chose a total of, uh, I'm choosing a total of four eggs out of these ten, so there must be just one whole egg. All right, there must have just been one whole egg. And again, this, this little thing right here, 7 over 1, is really 7 choose 1 on your calculator. Okay, I want you to know that. I'm not showing you these numbers necessarily on my calculator, but you can figure them out. Um, all right, and what's going on in between these two parentheses? Well, that's just times. All right, that's just times. So if you work this out, you will see that this 3 choose 3 comes out to be a 1. You'll see that this 7 choose 1 also comes out to be a 7. Right? It's, kind of, it's kind of weird how that works, but double check it on your calculator. And it's all over 210. So this is really just 7 over 210, and simplified comes out to be 1 over 30. Okay? Now, you're, you know, you're a professor, you're an instructor, um, maybe my math lab, wherever you're doing this type of problem, might ask uh, for a simplified fraction, or it might ask for a decimal, round it to three decimal places or four decimal places. So uh, just, I, I'm going to leave it as a simplified fraction, but if you want to work that out, I think it comes out to 0 0.0583 as a decimal. Okay? But, but before I show you the other two scenarios, and I want to quickly uh, finish up this video, I want to point something out to you, a little pattern going on here. Okay? Do you notice that these two numbers up top add up to a 10? Do you notice that? Those two numbers up top add up to a 10? That's how many cracked eggs we had, that's how many whole eggs we had. Okay? Do you notice that these two numbers on the bottom add up to a 4? That's how many eggs we chose. Right? We chose 4 out of these 10 eggs. That's always going to happen for these other two scenarios, for all the scenarios that I'm looking at here. Okay? These top two numbers will always start off with 3 and 7. And depending on the wording of the scenario, these numbers down here in the bottom of each of these is going to be different. Here, take a look at this one. What's the probability that none Get over here. There we go. What's the probability that none of the cracked eggs are selected? Okay, once again, our denominator is a 210, right? Because that's how many different ways we can choose four out of the 10 eggs. And I'm going to have my cracked eggs in this first parenthesis and my whole eggs in the second parenthesis. And again, there are three cracked ones, seven whole ones. This time, though, look, it's asking that none of the cracked eggs are selected. That would be a zero down here. right? Out of these three cracked eggs, we're choosing none of them, which means that all four eggs that we chose were whole eggs. See that? All four whole eggs. And again, look, these two top numbers add up to 10. These two bottom numbers add up to 4. That's always going to happen. OK, well, if you work this out on your calculator, you'll see that 3 NCR0 comes out to be a 1. It comes out to be a 1. This thing here turned into a 1. Uh, let's see, 7 choose 4. I think that turns out to be a 35. And we're multiplying these two numbers up top. Well, 1 times 35 isn't going to change any. So I have a 35 over 210. Simplified, though, comes out to 1 6, I think it is. All right, if I worked that out correctly on my calculator or did the math correctly, that comes out to be 1 6 or 0.1666666 that goes on forever um, uh, as a decimal. You can round that off. Okay? But again, here's that trick coming up again. You see these two top numbers add up to my total, which is 10. And see these two bottom numbers, right? They add up to my number that I've chosen, which is four. Pretty cool. Okay, one more scenario, then I'll call it quits here. Look at this last one. All right, what's the probability that two of the cracked eggs are selected? All right, two of the cracked eggs are selected. So I'll tell you what, maybe you could hit the pause button on your uh, on your screen right now. Just hit the pause button in this video and see if you can work this one out on your own. All right, I'm going to show you the answer in just a second, but try this one on your own. See how successful you are using the, the previous scenarios as guides, and, um, and good luck. We'll see, we'll see how it goes, and you can unpause when you're ready. All right, assuming that you paused and are ready to check your answer, let's see. Our denominator is still 210, because that's how many ways we can choose 4 out of 10. Um, of the cracked eggs, 
right, of the cracked eggs, there are three. This time it tells us that two of the cracked eggs are selected, so that's going to be that number down there. And of our whole eggs, right, which there are seven, hey, these two numbers, remember these two numbers here have to add up to a four. So if that's a two, this one has to be a two as well. We're choosing two cracked ones, two whole ones. All right, three choose two comes out to be a three, I think it is. And seven choose two comes out to be a 21, I believe it is. Double check these numbers, all right, you're doing NCR. Three choose two, seven choose two uh, on your calculator. And this is all over 210. Hey, this comes out to be a 63 over 210 simplified down to 3 tenths or 0.3 as a decimal. Cool, so I hope you got that right, and good luck with math. Isn't math fun?